Hey, what's going on guys? This is here back again with another video and today I actually just pushed up a little bit on ladder with this balloon freeze kick as you can see win 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 Got a loss there, but you know back and forth and if we go to global chat right here um, We can see that I am actually wait. Where am I? What I thought it was 28th? Huh? Yeah, there I am the 28th global so nice and high we're gonna keep pushing higher Maybe I'll go over one of the replays if I lose um, But yeah, let's just jump right into it all right, so jumping in here. Oh, this guy's actually higher than me. Let's go. Okay, so normally when you're up this high, obviously there are only 27 people who I can play are higher global than me, and that's out of everyone in the whole world. So it's very lucky that we're playing someone higher than us. Maybe we'll even get more than 30 trophies. I don't know if you guys saw, but on the last game that I won, I only got, what, 23 trophies, I think? Which, honestly, for being this high up is not bad. Sometimes you get, like, plus 15s, and then you get a minus 45. And you can just cry yourself to sleep. And then you have to, you know, console your parents because you just feel like a failure. And then you tilt 500 trophies and everyone makes fun of you on Twitter. You know how it is, you know, just the normal stuff. All right, so hopefully the baby D kills the minions. I think it will. And nice, it's a bit of an aggressive minion where he might freeze. I don't really know what he's planning on doing with that. Did actually end up killing my bowler, but I think it could have gotten a lot more value if he played it more defensively. I mean, the giant technically was still tanking for it a little bit, so the baby dragon didn't immediately lock on. Um... But yeah, I think that he kind of messed up there a little bit. Hopefully the tower shoots the bats. No, it doesn't. So on the next wave of bats, I'm actually going to freeze like that. Um, and then I think I think we'll be good. Wait, what is that crackling noise? Hold on. Not really sure why that's doing that. Uh, my mic is being weird. Hopefully it stopped. If not, I'll fix it after this game. Obviously being this high up, I can't really just kind of restart the video. So I'm just going to keep on playing. Um, nice little NATO right there. We are down a little bit on damage, but having not done a balloon push and also having our King Tower activated, I think we're actually in a fairly decent spot going to the rest of the game. Looks like he's actually starting up another giant push. This guy is super aggressive. Although I think with my baby dragon, he probably won't go in. He'll probably tank for um, tank for the baby dragon with a giant and play a minion horde or do it in reverse order, which he just did. So, you know, he'll probably zap. Hopefully we have four elixir soon. So that way we can freeze everything and not take too much damage. Okay, so we took a good 300 damage there. So obviously fairly unfortunate, but you know, it's definitely not the end of the world. And I, okay, so he has minor probably triple spell in hand. He's got minions next card. So I'm just going to go balloon opposite lane and then play baby dragon right behind for the minions. Okay, so he does fireball, so that balloon will go down. But I'm still going to keep counter pushing this lane um, just with my baby dragon, keeping applying some pressure. Um, hopefully the Night Witch doesn't hit. If it does, then that would have been a huge mistake. No! Okay. Well, that was a big mistake then. Um, okay. That's very sad. Um, Alright, I'm going to go Balloon here. I don't care that he's Minion Horde. I don't care at all. Wait, he didn't play Minion Horde. Why not? Huh. I'm kind of confused. Nato it back! Nato it back! Nato it back! Let's go! Break the Miner! Go, die! Die! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, that was so sick! Let's go! Oh my god, that was so hype! Bro, this is the best video ever! Where am I now? Am I top 10? 21st! Let's go! Boom! <sighs> okay. Mm, that was so hype! Oh my god, Park Champ! Let's go! Alright, um... Shoot, do I want to upgrade my stuff? Because I love this deck, but this is super fun. Alright, let's just keep it going. <sighs> okay, finally jumping in. I'm playing as Jewel. Alright, this guy plays three Musketeers. And he is an absolute beast. And he's about 150 trophies lower than me, so if we lose this, this is, this is bad. Alright, so he's probably just playing three Musketeers with, like, Minion Horde. And, you know, he doesn't have Giant. He is probably Hunter Battle Ram. So, I have to keep my... What do I have to keep? I don't have Miner. Um, it's kind of hard for me to win this matchup, actually. Alright, nice. You played you playing it in a way that very much helps me. If he just started off with Pump, I really have no way to punish, because I don't know if he has, you know, three Musketeers or Minion Horde in hand. So, I can't really uh, consistently go with Balloon and say, okay, that's the best play. Um, but because he went with Battle Ram there, I already have just a counter push right off the bat. So, I can already start off with, you know, pre Preemptive Baby Dragon or something and pray, play pretty safely. Um, and there's not really many ways I can get punished here. Unless he places like a three musketeers. Which I'm just going to freeze and then push in front of the tower. So that way the bowler splashes it. 
and hopefully killed most of it. All right, didn't kill the last one, but the baby dragon was able to splash those other two musketeers. So we're off to a very good start right now. Um, playing this really well, and I'm going to go with another barbaro. No, I think that will actually just die. Yeah, that should get one hit, but I think it's better saving my barbaro. Even though we do have that bowler, uh, barbaro can just be super useful, you know, just depending on the situation. So... Infernal Dragon doesn't really have much to do in this matchup. He's probably going to play Minion Horde or something. Um, I actually think I'm going to Lumberjack at the bridge because I do have Baby Dragon. I thought he would pump. And then I'm going to play my Baby Dragon preemptively on the Minion Horde. Nice. We're playing this really well. Um, that should clean that up pretty pretty quickly. Um, unfortunate, didn't really do as well as I had hoped. But the, the Lumberjack actually did get some decent damage on the tower and forced him to do another defensive minor. And I think, yeah, he's actually going to have to defend even more to, to stop that bush completely. So we are... We are playing very, very well right now. I'm going to go with another Bar Barrel, and then he's probably going to defend with Goblin Gang, and then go Battle Ram. So I have my Bowler ready. Oh, no, he goes with Pump, so I'm going to try to punish that with Balloon. Um, if he plays Minion Horde, you know, it's no big deal. We can just kind of sit back, relax, and defend, because there's no way I can really punish that. And, yeah, this is this sound is so frustrating. I don't know why I was doing that. I think my mic's a little broken, which is obviously kind of sad. Um but I don't really want to scrap this video because it's going so well. Um, all right, so I'm actually going to freeze all of that. The pump, or the freeze will do some good de de uh, kind of defense to the to the uh, pumps. Yeah, I think I got that out. I don't really know how well I said that. Probably not too well. All right, there's the battle ram. We're saving our bowler for that. That'll clean that whole push up right there. Um, hopefully the barb shoots the battle ram as well. Nice, it did. And then we can play... Oh my goodness, what? Jewel is an absolute animal. All right. I'm going to freeze like that, and then go with Lumberjack. He's going to have to defend, so that three Musketeer is going to be pretty much wasted, actually. And nice! My Baby Dragon takes it. Let's go! Another win! All right, I think that puts us maybe top 15. The higher you go, the easier it is to, like, kind of jump spots. Um, only 17 trophies from that one right there, but we are 20th. Okay, so we went up one spot. Um, I mean, I'll take it, you know, up here, that's not bad. We only need one more game for ultimate champion or, for, or grand champion. So I think I'm going to go for that. But let me just fix my mic first. All right, last video, last game of the video, 5907. Bro, okay, even if we lose this, we are still up at least, like, what, 15 trophies? So, like, you know, 15 trophies for, t for two wins is not bad. All right, Mortar, I haven't played against this, but I don't think this is the easiest matchup just because he's got so many air defenses. We got a nice little play right there. I was hoping you would play Bats or Minion Horde or something. Um, just depends on what he what he ends up following it up with. You know, I'm not worried at all about that. Uh, this is the most satisfying thing, by the way. It's even more satisfying when it's, like, all clumped together. But, you know, that wasn't bad at all. And, yeah, Archers, Skarmy... I'm curious to, to see what other air counters he has. He most likely is Minion Horde or like Rascals or something like that. But even still, I think we can break through that. Um, it's it's much better than him having saying Bats, Goblin Gang, Spear Goblins, and Minion Horde or Rascals, which a lot of Mortar decks do have alongside obviously Mortar, Miner, and probably Zat most likely. I'm talking about the Igor deck mainly. Igor is the person, of course, who got 100 wins in the, in the most recent challenge. That's not me. For some reason, he decided to kind of steal my name which is you know unfortunate but it's like what can you do all right um i'm gonna nato all that together it will probably freeze but i think my lumberjack will still be able to clean up the um the kind of existing skeletons and yeah we're gonna end up going with a balloon here um he's got skarmy in hand he's also got archers in hand but i feel like my baby dragon will be able to clean up the archers he's probably gonna pull it with a mortar but alongside the baby dragon the mortar should go down very quickly and nice the baby dragon cleans up the bats and my balloon should get at least one hit on tower here no he zaps it okay that was a good play i don't think i had enough for freeze although it definitely could have been an option and it probably will be an option assuming we have that kind of same circumstance again just in double elixir so you know i feel like very confident for this game for this game he has no aggressive options right now because mortar is out of cycle he's probably going to play like a knight or maybe even a skarmy against this i'm just going to start with lumberjack in the back and then i'm going to go with my bowler as well this might even be a little bit of a mini counter push now, there's a skarmy right there so we're going to play barbarian barrel on that i think i'm actually going to freeze on tower here no oh that was a choke all right, that was a really bad freeze. I was hoping that I could get the archers with that, but it didn't. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brain thought. We, um, archers in the back, and he doesn't have mortar, and he doesn't have bats. Once the lock's on, I'm going to predict the bats. Didn't work. Um, okay, he played that well. 
I thought that it could work for a second, um, but it obviously didn't end up working in my favor. We're lucky that the balloon got a drop on the mortar so it can't pull my balloons in the f future, but obviously it didn't work out nearly as well as I'd hoped with, you know, that indefinite balloon hit. Alright, we're just gonna barber like that. And nice, he didn't even freeze my lumberjack, so that was a really bad freeze from him. Although it's still doing a lot of damage. What? Okay, freeze is the best card in the game, don't at me. I mean, I'm using it too, so I can't really complain. But, alright, I think this should be at least semi-decent. Nice, freeze like that. Now that the lumberjack is popped, Buller goes in. Nice, he plays bats. Um, nice. Oh, this was such a good video. Pog champ in the chat, baby. I don't even care that I'm not streaming. Another plus 15. We got plus 27, plus 23, plus 32, plus 17, plus 15. Where are we? Grand champion. Let's go. Screenshot 17th global finishing up the video. And gang, gang, gang. Screenshot. Oh, Hazard is back, baby. We are back on that ladder grind. Thank you all very much for watching. I will upload another voiceover video once I edit it. I'm going to do that this weekend. So it should be out Sunday, I believe, as you know, assuming everything keeps on track. I actually filmed that yesterday. Tried to edit it last night, but my Adobe Premiere crashed, so I lost all my progress. But, you know, what can you do? Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to check out my socials down in the description down below. You know, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be. I really appreciate you guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.